This is Grayson and Zach here, Dream Media. We're gonna show you how to install a Lux camera today. Hey guys, this is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. We're gonna be installing the 1080p 2 megapixel Lux technology verifocal cameras in a home here in Allen, Texas. And I'll show you the installation of this product as well as the final result. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, so with uh, analog cameras, they're pretty basic. You're just using RG59 coax with power, red and black. Um, this is the female end, and this is um, the power. So this is delivering your video, and this is delivering power. So we ran bulk wire, so I'm gonna splice in this quick connect here for the power, and then I have fittings here BNC connectors for uh, connecting the other end of the line. And you can see I got some bulk wire here, RG59, which we shot up into the attic. And Grayson's running up there to grab it right now. And then I'm gonna mount one on each corner up there, one facing this direction and one facing this direction. And then there's two on the front of the house, which I'll show you whenever we complete that section of the installation. All right, so I went and cut our two lines, and all you're going to do is just strip back to separate out the two, your power from your video feed. Um, and then splicing in your power, I don't think you guys really need to see this. It's pretty easy, just red to red, black to black. Um, but I did want to show you the uh, video connection. So you need a stripper like this. and you just line up the cable right to the end like the picture shows, and then you strip it back. And then you take your, your shielding after you pull it off, um, and you take your, um, your strands, and you push them back pretty evenly all the way around so that your jacket slides on there in between the shielding and your copper right there on the core in between because this is a compression fitting that I'm using. I'll try to show you the best I can. So right here is where the inner conductor goes and then your your core goes on the outside and then it slides right between the, the jacket on the outside. So you're just gonna push it down like this. I like to rotate it a little bit, kind of helps it slip in easier. And then once you're inner core is pushed all the way up flush, you know that you're in all the way. Also, it, it should be on there pretty snug. Then you're gonna take your compression tool. I'm just using a Klein Tools one from Home Depot. I've had this thing like forever. Adjust it to the level that you need for this particular fitting. You can use this for subwoofers and all different types of cables. Uh, so it's nice to have and then it just snaps into place. They call it a snap and seal because it actually seals it from the elements uh, to protect it from weather. So that's the video cable there. And then I'm just gonna splice in my power, which is easy enough. I'll show you guys once I get it up. All right, so this is the next step in getting the wiring to our final location. The wiring is going to be fished, or actually already has been fished since we're kind of in a time crunch here, but I want to catch you guys up. See these lines right here? These are our RJ59 with power, which we did fish up and out of the walkway. Over the top here, and then down into a Smurf tube. And Smurf tube is just conduit um, that helps running the lines a little bit easier. We ran these lines uh, straight down to the master closet, which I'll show you next. Here's the other end of that fish tube. This is important to have, especially in a situation like this where we're on the first floor right now, but the attic's on the top of the second floor, so there's really no way to get wiring down to this location without this tube in place other than sheetrock repair. If you guys want us to install a system like this for you on the... Uh, first floor what we typically recommend is that you just terminate the dvr up there on the second floor uh, that way it's a little bit 
lighter on your wallet from a drywall repair perspective. And you can see we're working on getting our lines tipped here, our four cameras, and then we're gonna hook up our power supply. Grayson's already got everything ready to rock and roll. So here's the power supply. Very standard for analog cameras, super simple, positive and negative to each camera. And then our DVR. And we actually got him an eight channel. He's just putting in four today so that he can upgrade if he wants in the future. All right, so here's our finished product. We have our um, power supply here with our lines ran in to each individual camera. And then our Lux Technologies DVR up here. And we actually drilled a hole in the cabinet because the customer just had the wires running across here. So we made it a little bit cleaner and tidy um, and then hardwired everything. We also put in a Luxel router, a little bit better quality to give them better coverage throughout the home uh, for um, all of their smart devices because we did do a Lutron system here as well. Here's the cameras, what they look like after we got them hooked up. Now, if you guys can see the quality, I'm recording with the GoPro Hero 7, but here's the um, front door. This is the front yard. Let's see if I can get a little bit better quality. This is the backyard, and here's the side yard. This is a very affordable 1080p system, two megapixel. I'll try to uh, shoot some pictures with my iPhone. Sometimes it turns out a little bit better. Um, but what's great with this system is it does record continuously or you can set motion uh, recording in it and there's no monthly charges. Uh, so you pay for it one time, have us install it, and then you're good to go. We can ship you this item as well if you'd like to install it yourself. It does have a quick P2P uh, barcode uh, setup. You create your password, scan it, and you can set it up on any device, and there's no charge per device um, or there's no charge for the amount of time that um, you have it. This is a really great system at a great price. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, make sure you subscribe down below, uh, comment. Give us ideas for other videos. This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater.